I'm feeling a little low about my career. I could really use a pick-me-up. Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you today about traits that actors believe they must have in order to work regularly or find success or find those really good gigs. So if that sounds like something you want to listen to, then just stick around for two seconds. Rah, rah, okay, it's pep talk time. Let's talk about some traits. I did a video recently where I talked about two key indicators of success in the acting business. You might wanna check that out too because that's kind of a, a broader perspective. I'm not really talking about success, but there's, let me give you some context to this video. So a while back, I had a commenter on one of my videos say, you're lying to the people that are watching your videos. You're telling them that if they train hard enough and that they have good talent, that they can make it in this business. And the truth is that you have to have good looks. You have to be sexy, hot, and young, and that's all that matters. Talent doesn't matter, training doesn't matter. That's all they care about. And if you don't tell them that, you're lying to them. I think I understand that there is a certain degree of that in this business, especially in Hollywood, but that's not all. So it got me thinking, what traits do actors need to possess in order to have a chance in this business, in order to get the good gigs, to, to be seen and noticed or have success? Let's start with the good looks thing. There are many people out there that believe you have to have good looks and that good looks get you in the door, they get you past the first round of auditions, and yet there are many roles out there for people that aren't attractive, that are older, that are, um, you know, meek and mild or geeky. You know, there's all sorts of types out there in these stories and stuff. So yes, if you're jaded and you're having a time, hard time struggling and you're seeing time and again, every show has pretty faces and you're thinking, well, yeah, I don't have a chance because I'm ugly or whatever, or I'm fat or uh, I'm skinny or whatever your thing is that you say, I, I'm not, I don't look like that perfection, so I can't make it in this career. Well, it's not true because there are many roles out there. You just have to target those roles. You have to realize that they are out there and that you're not going to be getting those sexy bod roles. So don't even bother wasting your time with them. Work on getting the roles you can. And in the same time, you can also work on changing your physical appearance and, and, and making yourself look at your best, okay? So another trait that a lot of actors that are successful have is they have money in the bank. Maybe they have a spouse that has a good job so that it affords them time to, to work on their career and do it without having to bring home the bacon. A, a lot of theater people that I know have, you know, nice jobs or nice, uh, they come from rich families or something like that. So it affords them a lot of luxury space to, to work on their career without having that, uh, that need to pay rent from each gig. So it's almost like you need money to uh, to be successful but that's not true many 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 actors out there pull themselves up by their bootstraps they just make it work they struggle they they uh, use a headshot long after it's it doesn't look like them anymore and they just get the things done that they need to get done and they try to make it happen now yeah you got to work a lot harder to survive if you don't have money in the bank um, and the, the acting pay out there is not going to give you a lot of money either uh, most of the time. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation a lot of times. Talent. You have to have talent. You have to be so extremely talented that you are just dancing circles around all the other people in the in the room. And that is something that, you know, a lot of people think, yep, 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 they gotta have talent. Wow, they gotta have that wow factor, that it factor. And uh, it's only just a few pieces. You see them all on American Idol and America's Got Talent and all oh, Britain's Got Talent. I don't wanna, Denmark's Got Talent. They, they have talent too. Everybody in the world has talent. I got, I get it. We, we focus in primarily on talent, but really as an actor, you just need the abilities to dig into your personal emotion, to portray it to an audience and to make it believable or exaggerated or whatever the case may be. And those kind of things can be learned. Can You can learn a certain element of talent. Now, there are certain people that just can't hit a note if they're singing they just have no hand-eye coordination to pick up dance moves there's some people that their acting is just so 
bad. It's just weird and awkward and hilarious to watch. And yet those people can still be cast in movies and, and plays and can still get better. I know many actors in my life who weren't so great, including me. I was very, very green when I started acting and very stiff and very uh, did things one way. And it took many, many years of training and and whatnot to relax and become better at my craft. So, so yes, talent is important, but talent, much of talent can be learned. You need training to be a good actor. You have to go to school. You have to take workshops every single day. And you have to, to, you have to go to the best casting directors and the best acting coaches. And you need to get feedback from people and you need to have your soul ripped out. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, you do need training. It, it's very helpful to have training, but many actors never went to school at all, never graduated high school, never went to college. N very few of them ever do workshops and stuff in the reality of the world. Many actors learn their training by working on gigs and you get better with this character you get better with these little things that you do every day and uh, and and then over time you you improve it's your form of training some actors just are very emotional they uh, they sense emotion in the world and they just know how to translate that onto the screen and you put them in front of a camera and they just shine and and with with no training whatsoever a lot of people just get stuck on training only and they never actually put themselves out there they're always learning they're always taking the workshops they're always trying these little things and trying new monologues but then they don't dare to go audition and that's a stumbling block, so make sure you don't get stuck in that. Actors need to have connections to be successful. You need to know the business. You know how to network. You got to go to parties and you got to schmooze. You got to like maybe loosen up on the casting couch to get a job. I'm, I'm, I'm playing here. I'm, don't don't ever do the casting couch. But um, that's the kind of uh, thing that a lot of people think you, you got to know people. You got to butter up people. You got to, you know, maybe date somebody or whatever to get in. And there is a certain element of actors. It's often the beautiful ones that get stuck in that like uh, that mindset and it's true you need new connections we're in a people business we need to work together and it's more about being a kind person being a, a thoughtful person being somebody who is responsible and shows up on time and treats everybody with respect and dignity and once you have all of that the networking kind of falls into place it is a necessary component you won't go too far if you don't ever reach out to other people and have friends and, and industry uh, connections and stuff, but you don't need to be that schmoozer or that casting couch person or that um, that relationship person that needs to have a, a friendship with everybody. You just need to be an authentic person and be a real person and be a responsible person. You need to have personality. You need to be a bubbly personality, full on uh, extrovert. You need to be the life of the party, everybody looking at you. A lot of people believe that about acting. If you're not a rambunctious, outgoing person, then you just won't be able to get up in front of an audience and entertain them. And that's not true. I am a, a very introverted person in general. And I'm a wishy-washy person in general. So, uh, you know, I am a wallflower at parties. I let the party come to me. That doesn't mean I can't get up and speak. It doesn't mean I can't be rambunctious and stand here, but it's harder. It's more draining for me. So just uh, personality is different for everybody. You've got actors who, um, you know, are known for their kind of rough, gruff personalities and don't don't really treat anybody well, like Betty Davis, maybe or something. They still find success, you know, and there's uh, really introverted actors out there that still find success. So don't think it's just about personality. Just have some personality, a personality. It doesn't have to be an outgoing, egocentric personality. You need luck. Every single actor that makes it is just lucky. They were at the right place at the right time. They just happened to know the right person. They got the audition and I didn't get it. And you know, it's just dumb luck. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> this, this career, more than any other career out there, I think requires a lot of luck. And yes, you do need to be in the right place at the right time and all those other things. And luck does play a factor. But you know what else does? 
persistence and being in when you're in the right place at the right time, you are prepared for being in that right place at the right time. Opportunity meets preparation. Those people that you think are just lucky, they're just, they're not as good as me, but they just got lucky. Well, you have to think how long did they go before that lucky streak hit? And how much did they learn and prepare before that luck hit? Uh, and chances are they spent a lot of time and they, they did a lot of grinding and they were in a uh, non known, non successful, non famous, no money situation for a long period of time before they got that success. Yes, dumb luck happens to everybody, but dumb luck happens to you as well. You, you know you've been lucky at times in your life when other people haven't. You know that you got an unfair advantage sometimes that other people didn't get. It happens to everybody at some point in your life. So quit ignoring your own good luck and stop comparing yourself to other actors and, uh, and you'll start to see that luck is not as much of a key factor in all of this that you think. We got money, we got luck, we got looks, we got talent, we got training. What was the other thing? Uh, personality. You know, the truth is you need a little bit of all those things to make it as an actor, to be successful. And the more of those elements that you have, the more you're going to be successful, the more you're going to vibe with this whole career path. So just don't think of the extremes in each of those categories. Think of how you can utilize each of those things and make it work in your career. And the more you can integrate those different facets and truly believe that, you know, no one's out there just casting for sex and just casting because somebody's rich or just casting because they know the person. There are opportunities that seep through all of that noise and all of that BS. So look for that and, and believe that you have what it takes to, to make it in this career. So if you're feeling low about your career, stop it. You got this. There's more than one way to skin a cat. If this video wasn't very helpful for you, this one up here might be a little bit better. So give that a look-see and I'll see you next time.